we've heard a lot about, and actually Debbie Wasserman Schultz was on Beast TV yesterday uh, and helped break the story that they were changing the platform to put God in Jerusalem back. What I haven't heard is how they fell out of the platform in the first place. Well, I can tell you that uh, I wasn't informed that God and Jerusalem weren't in the platform. I was doing one show after another until just before I got to uh, the uh, convention hall, the, the arena, uh, about 4.30 or so. And I didn't get uh, all the language uh, uh, for the amendment changes until about uh, 30 seconds before I walked on that stage. <laughs> Well, what's so, your understanding now? I'm sure you inquired, how did this happen? I, I don't think they've gotten to the bottom of it. Uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, just an oversight. It certainly was an omission. Um, uh, I certainly have. Pretty, pretty surgical strike, omission. Well, I can tell you, uh, I am so proud of our president, uh, who's not only the leader of our country, but also the leader of our party. Uh, and he said, as soon as he found out, uh, that he wanted it back in. And uh, I couldn't be prouder that he uh, demanded that uh, the platform reflect his values and his policies. And that's in contradistinction, distinction, by the way, to Mr. Romney, who has gone, uh, made a lot of ado about the fact that his platform, that he doesn't agree uh, with uh, the plank that says uh, uh, that w denying abortion, even in cases of rape and incest, uh, he says he disagrees with that. And I remember in Tampa saying, hold it. If you disagree with it, why did you let it happen? You're the head of your party. And uh, it, our president didn't let it happen. He wanted God in there. Uh, he wanted um, uh, Jerusalem in that plank. Uh, so did I, by the way, uh, as soon as I was informed. And so, uh, and so did the two-thirds of the uh, Democratic delegates.